I'll tell you how it got started. It got started due to a certain content creator that used to be part of the manosphere. And y'all know he likes to call himself the GOAT. <laughs> I, was on, I was on a panel with, um, it was either Obsidian or O'Shea, right? It was like the first time I had did a panel. He was kind of going in on me and yada, 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 right? And so he was, he was questioning me about, do I know what the heck I'm talking about with tech? Where's my proof? And I'm like, well, what you want me to do? Call people up that I've trained, like right here on the spotlight. I was yeah, that, that was total, that was total bull. But I, of course, I don't have any power. But, but the thing is, he gave me the idea. I was like, okay, well, here's what I'm going to do. I can't call up all the hundreds of people I help train. But what I can do is come on YouTube and show you what I know what I'm talking about. Because, you know, not just to show like, yeah, look what I'm doing, but because, <laughs> you know, during my years of IT, you know, I came to discover like, yo, in most um, jobs I worked, even in the military, I was like the only black person around. <laughs> like, aside from me being an AIT instructor, that's, that was the most I ever worked with other black IT professionals. But all my other units, for the most part, it was just kind of like maybe one one or two of us around. And so then when it started digging off into uh, black YouTube, the black manosphere, and I'm just like, wow, like, where are all the tech dudes? You know, then I discovered Keep It Techie, I discovered Gabe, I discovered some other people. But, you know, I was just looking around YouTube land. I'm like, okay, YouTube, and I want to learn how to do something. Or I go to Udemy, and I want to learn how to do something tech related, like, go get a you know, yeah, you turned me on to Udemy. Really you yeah, yeah, I don't really see like a lot of black folks teaching this stuff. So I decided to start teaching it. And I was just going to teach it from the ground up, man. And I'm just focusing purely on entry level certs. Now, some other guys like there's my man Sub Zero. I don't know if you guys are familiar with his YouTube channel, Sub Zero 369. He and I actually went to college together at the same time, but we didn't know each other. But he teaches IT as well. But he teaches uh, database stuff. I actually paid him a few months ago. And um. I'm taking his database course because I don't know anything. I don't really know much about database to the extent that he does. Nice. But my focus is just on entry level stuff to get your foot in the door, because even even when you talk about entry level stuff, some people look down on it. But you got to remember, entry level is literally what it sounds like. It's entry level. Meaning mm -hmm. you're not going to be there for the rest of your life because I've known plenty of people that started off with A plus network plus security plus. And within about three, three years, five years, they're they're making a hundred thousand dollars. My younger brother, um, my two younger brothers are twins, but the youngest twin, he's a college dropout. He dropped out his freshman year. Um, he took like a five year break, just, you know, just doing some BS. And then he decided to get into IT. He's been in IT for about seven years, eight years. He, he probably makes about ninety, ninety five thousand dollars right now. And he just got a few of these basic entry level certs. But that was enough to get him going into the cybersecurity realm of things where he does cybersecurity right now. And then, you know, I got other relatives that make over six figures doing this stuff. But so I just teach the entry level. That's my main focus is the entry level stuff. Yeah, to get, yeah, to get them started. Yeah. Just educating you what a computer is. Like, I mean, I even teach people how to manipulate the binary code, uh, the binary system, how to convert numbers in binary and hexadecimal. Like I get that elementary with it just, just so people can have an understanding of it. You know what I'm saying? And so that's the main focus of my YouTube channel and what I choose to talk about on there. And then I give other little tips and things here and there about other general experiences I've had dealing. Like I just put up a video about two months ago or whatever, talking about how you can sneak your resume past uh, resume screening software. <laughs> um, in case you know, in case you guys don't know, you go out to these websites like Indeed, you submit your resume. Well, your resume gets scammed by software. And if your resume doesn't have enough keywords on it, they'll reject your resume. I got videos. I got a video up now that teaches you how to bypass that system to almost 100% guarantee that your resume will get seen by a person. Now, will they get you the job? No, I'm just trying to teach you how to get past. I just made a video to teach you how to get past the software because apparently a lot of people didn't know that. But I put up little stuff like that as well. But that's that's me in a nutshell, though, man. You know what I mean? That's a big nutshell. I am I am thoroughly impressed. I mean, I knew who you was anyway because I was following you before I even knew it. Your your IT background when you was just G Lowry and had the thing on the screen, you know. Uh, but man, that's that's all right. Now look at this. Now the person that you were saying that you know about you proving this, that, and other, and you can't prove it. Did that person come back to you and say, "My bad"? Nah, I, I, nah, he never did, and I'll probably never get it, and I'm not expecting it. I know you now, didn't do it for that, but yeah, I mean, well, but you figure an upstanding. Well, in, like I say, initially it started because 
I was like, okay, he just called me to the carpet to show and prove. Well, I'm finna show and prove. But and now, now he's gotten can... to the point where he's not, he's he, he's a non-factor in it because the stuff that I'm doing is way more important than my little bickering with him. Because for those of you, if you go to my channel and you click on my community tab, I post screenshots all the time. Yep. For people who have watched my yep. videos and went out there and passed these certifications. Yep. You know I watch. Like, I be watching. So, so you know, I, I you know, I put that up as social proof. I'm talking about just off the videos. Now, I got other stuff where they can go to my website, and if they feel like you know the website is called Technology G, if they need additional study materials to where okay the videos aren't enough, I need additional notes. Well, is I have dot like, com or dot net. Uh, dot com. So technology and then the word G G E E dot com. I put up additional notes. I only sell the notes for like fifty dollars a pop, right? But they're like. Yeah, that's it. But they're like ridiculously detailed notes. And then right now I'm currently in company to where I'm trying to get simulation programs in there because I know everybody doesn't have access to a laptop or a computer to go out there and apply the things that they're learning off my videos. So now um, I just had somebody ask me about it the other day and it just so happens I'm actually in conversations with a company right now to try to license their software so that I can give people access to uh, virtual simulation programs to wow. show them how to manipulate this stuff so that they can get their practice on and go in there and successfully pass these tests. So, but with all that aside, I've had people who just watch the videos, take notes or do whatever they got to do, and they go past the certs. And then they'll send me a message through email or in the comments, and I'll take a screenshot and I'll post it up there saying, hey, shout out to this person. You know what I mean? So it's, it's, it's much bigger than me trying to one up some dude on YouTube is it's yeah. to the point now it's like okay that was still kind of chicken shit though. <laughs> it's just it's just to the point, okay. I have a useful product because you know, for those of you who sub to my other channel, I just talk about random topics on there, right? And a lot of my topics are criticisms of black society. And one of the things is people always love to impose this question, well, what are you doing for the community? And I used to hear that a lot. You know what I mean? I still hear it. Yeah, I still hear it. And so my thing is. I may talk harshly and criticize the community because there are just certain things that I'm not happy with seeing. And I think even with, within Black YouTube and the Black Manosphere, things could just be go so much differently. But I do provide a realistic solution. I don't yeah. have the solutions to everything, but I have a solution based off of my life and professional experience. You know what I mean? And that is IT. So that's what I bring to the table. Now, if that's Same thing with that you, guy sitting on the other side of you. Same thing. Yeah, Him, yeah my man, keep your tech. He does the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, cause man, I wanted, I've been wanting to do this. I'm like, cause you know, yeah, I would, I go on other people's stream, but you know, you've never, you'll never see me in the full fledged shouting match. You know, your mama, this, your sister, that, that's why your old lady left you. <laughs> and I, 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 I can't, I mean, I'm from Detroit's West side. I can get down with the best of them, but anybody, I mean, an edu un uneducated goon can do that. Yeah. But I figure, out, man, I maybe I got something to offer, and I look at it like this: I feel like I'm smart enough to surround myself with people that are smarter than me, yeah. and that's where I come in to the uh, the G Lowry's and and the Josh at Keep It Techies and the BA that created Black Avenger. I had dude talking crap after the last stream. I said, dude, do you understand? You trying to talk smack to a guy that got his own workstation, built a mini server. Built, <laughs> you know what I mean? Wrote the script, done everything, created it, you know, and everything where you can go on and upload videos and Black Avenger, the original BATV and all this other stuff. Dude, can you do that? Where do you work? I mean, what do you have that skill? Because if you do, how come you ain't done it? Oh, y'all, y'all, this, y'all, that, y'all, this, y'all, that. Okay, great. Them the ones, bro, we can't help them because they don't want help. They want to disrupt. And those are the ones I try to stay away from. Like the uh, my videos on how to start out what the things to do to start a convenience store. All them videos I put, I took I took the majority of them down. I put them on private. They, they still there. I just put them on private. And when people send me stuff and request, then I'll send them the link and whatnot. And people, they pay, you know, because you're going to pay somebody for this. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to get this for free. Yeah. I mean, you can, but you're not going to get it as thorough. And everybody that's then got it from me said, you ain't charging enough. 
that's a trip. People didn't pay me, said, dude, for the information you gave us, you're not charging enough. Now, I didn't use that as no excuse to raise the rate, but I right. always talked about you. I've always pushed your stuff, always push Keep It Techie stuff. I had dude send me a text, say, man, I just watched Keep It Techie's video three times and I'm still lost. <laughs> I said, yeah. man, I said, but if you don't understand Linux, I said, you got to, you need a beginner's guide to Linux first because he's a mm -hmm. Microsoft guy. But now I do want to say something because, you know, you mentioned about charging because I, I have a lot of people that ask me how YouTube for free and I don't put it on Udemy or whatever. I give no, a you, lot, of, you, you I do a lot of stuff free. Well, there, there's, a, there's a main reason why I do it. And the main reason why I put it up on YouTube for free is because I don't, I want to remove all excuses from people, you know, especially in the black community, you know, in black YouTube where we had these conversations. Mm -hmm. I was like, well, if I put it up for free, what excuses do you have? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like, I mean, because, you know, there are some other YouTube. YouTubers, there, there's a particular YouTuber. I don't know if you've seen his videos, but he goes by the name of Master IT. Yes. Um, I, yeah. Well, me and him we used to work together in the military, so we know each other in real life. Real cool. thorough dude. Very knowledgeable, knows what he's talking about. Got love for the brother, but you're gonna have to pay to get that knowledge from him. And he's real thorough. And you know, everybody who rocks with him, give that man his money. But I'm in the black mantle sphere. He, he, he doesn't make content like this, so. When I create the content, then I kind of cross promote it every now and then. I just wanted to really remove all excuses from black folks who are talking about, you know, because I, I, you know, even if I were to charge 50 bucks, there's always going to be somebody talking about that's too expensive. So I was yeah. like, well, I just Mine was free. free. I've done 10 of them free, and the only thing yeah. I got was pushback. So I took them down. I figure if I'm going to get heat, I may as well get paid for it. Yeah. I mean, so, you know, so like I said, I, I, I give it away for free because I'm just like, I'm not, you know, yes, I like money like everybody else, but I'm not. With this particular project of IT, I'm not driven by mainly just the acquisition of money. I'm more, I'm more so driven by the fact that I want to see more people, black folks, get into IT before y'all get left behind. Because, you know, th this is just the reality of the situation. With my profession, you're just not going to come across a lot of black people like that. And for those of you who are unaware, you got the overall IT industry is like begging for people to sign up for these jobs or apply for these jobs. But there's so many people who are just not qualified to do it. And then when you break that down into the black populations, it's just hella black folks who just don't have the skill sets to do it. And are, you know, for whatever reason. And then this even, even trickles down to the children because even with within high schools, you go to certain high High schools, you know, they're they're already teaching kids STEM. And I know of a program where I live at to where they got high school kids. If they stick to a certain plan, by the time they graduate high school, not only will they have their high school diploma, they'll have four entry level IT certifications, the ones that I teach. And mm -hmm. they'll also have their two year college degree and associates in science. All this by the time they're 18 years old. You know what I'm saying? And this is not at the, the predominantly black schools, <laughs> you know, if you imagine. <laughs> so, but, you know, but this is this is the reality of the world we're moving into, man. And so I put my stuff up for free. Keep It Techie puts his stuff up there. And, um, you know, I'm pretty sure he, he got some plans of, you know, well, I, I don't know what his business is. So I'm not going to speak on that. But we put it up there. Or at least, you know, we put it up there because, you know, I feel like it's important because, of the society that we're living in, and if yeah, you I like to help people. Know this stuff, or you don't have to become an expert like myself and keep it techie. But even if you, but you need to have some type of understanding of it because it imp literally impacts every aspect of your life. Yes, literally yes, it does.